perceptible to the human eye, revealed an active growth by the camera.
crystals in geometric perfection.
eclipse was recorded by Goma in 1912. In 1928, W.D. Wright made this study of Jupiter and one of her moons. On the left by ultraviolet and on the right by infrared. Here speeded up the rotation of Mars. Or the Earth's shadow advancing mass of the Sun, seething with activity. Normally, the solar atmosphere can only be seen during a total eclipse. Other optical techniques were developed to throw light on the invisible. Dark ground illumination reveals cellular activity and malignant tissue. An adaptation of the interference microscope shows diseased cells in relief. The Schlieren technique makes visible changes in pressure around the wing section of an aircraft. Color adds a further dimension. Here it differentiates between areas of pressure and rarefaction. Here between hot and cold as water mixes. Using a different technique, it illuminates stress set up by a passing train in this transparent model of a rail. Uncovering the invisible, showing how a water beetle uses surface tension. Studying hidden structures within the living cell. Penetrating darkness within the red light of the womb. And there in the darkness, seeing light before birth. Constantly probing, accessible, that moves beneath the sun. Mm -hmm.